the best teams, you can almost close your eyes and set open, you'd know who they were because of the patterns of play and the way in which they connect with each other. There are no combinations with Manchester United that mean that you're always wondering what passes next. As if they make up each pass as it goes along, and if it ends up at a talented player, they may score, they may not, they may do something, may not. And it's just so inconsistent. So how does that change, Gary? Sometimes we, they've had the injuries back, and, and so he has made. But he's, he makes a lot of changes in, in each area of the pitch, each unit of the pitch. The centre backs we've seen, yeah. two midfield field players, the forwards, the wide players. How do you build a relationship up if you're right back in, in the, the right wing? It's changing week in, week out. No, I mean, th there are a couple of relationships over the last few years that you may say were built up. I think when Luke Shaw was fit with Rashford on that left hand side, they sort of looked like a pair that could play together. But it's very rare that you see Manchester United pick the same team week in, week out. He changes the system and team within the actual game. And look, it's disappointed. Look, this has been chronic for 10 years at Manchester United. They've spent £650 million under Eric Ten Hag over two and a half years and we still really don't know what type of team they are. And we're happy today because they got a point away at Villa. That tells you how far Villa have come in this last, obviously, 12 months or so under Unai Emery. But it's a stepping stone. So at least it's a small step for Manchester United because I was expecting them to get beat. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.